Hi, I'm Nicole Smithy from Iridescent Women, and today we're reading Psalm 119.11. I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Now, this was written by King David, and in many ways, this psalm acts as a love letter to God's word. It also happens to be the longest psalm in the book of Psalms. It's length and expression of the reverence and gratitude King David had for the word of God. And in this particular verse, David shows us his dependency on God's word because he doesn't just read or study God's word, but he says that he hides it in his heart. Now, that word hide in Hebrew also means to treasure, to reserve, to protect, which leads us to ask the question, do I have that same active and passionate approach to God's word in my own life? Do I treasure God's word in my life? Do I stockpile God's word in my heart so that I'm ready to navigate the many ups and downs that come my way and the temptations that I'm facing? Do I protect God's word as number one priority in my life, as number one influence in my decision making? Or do I approach the Bible with apathy, minimally, inconsistently in my life? I wonder if we could just be challenged by this verse today and also encouraged that God wants us to connect with his word, to fall in love with his word, to treasure his word, and that when we do, that our relationship with God flourishes as a result. So what's your next step to embrace God's word for the treasure that it is? It might mean committing to watching the verse of the day every day on version. It might mean exploring one of the many Bible reading plans available on the app. Whatever your next step is, I pray that as you embrace God's word as the treasure that it is, that you would see God move in your life in miraculous ways.